In this video I'm going to show you guys how to take your scratch game and embed it onto your website. And the first thing I want you to double check is that you have the correct pages on your website. So I'm going to create a new page here. And you probably already have this page, but I'll call it programming. And then I'm just going to leave that one as it is right now. And then create another page. And then this one's going to be called scratch. And then I want to make this a sub page of programming, so I just sort of drag this until it looks like it's almost like tabbed underneath programming. So now it'll be a sub page of programming. And then I'm going to click build, make sure I'm building on my scratch page. And I want to go back to my scratch game. Mine's doing a strange, it's cloud data because it tracks high score. And I want you to go to this little button right here. Realize too, you have to be able to share your projects. Um, most of you have already done this, but if you have not, then you need to make sure that you, if you see a little gray button right here that says share, then you need to click on that and then you can make your project page. So this is the project page, instructions, notes, blah, blah, blah. Go to embed, and I want you to copy this HTML code right here. So this is an iframe. Copy. Go back to your website. And you want to drag in this block that says embed code. Click in here edit custom HTML, get rid of that, I'm going to hit control, V as in Victor on my keyboard, it pastes the iframe in there, and then I'm going to click away, it looks like there's nothing there, but I hit publish, and then I go to my website, scratch, and give it a quick second, and there it is, so it does show up. Okay, so that's what I want you doing. You're embedding your game. You can add descriptions here. You can even put the rules. Remember, this is part of the reason why I wanted you to have an introduction to your game because that project page doesn't show up on the right hand side where you can see the instructions. But you could definitely add it in here by just dragging a text block into here. Also, you can always go back and change your game, and then it'll. Uh, automatically be the most recent version in here so you don't need to worry about constantly having to drag in a new iframe each time that you're changing your game